Akistat Video Production presents World Class One Pocket. Hi, everybody. I'm Howard Vickery. I'm at Spot Shot Beards in Portland, Maine for the World One Pocket Championships. With me is my very special guest and one pocket aficionado, Bill Hendrickson. Hi, Bill. Hi, Howard. How are you? I'm, I'm really happy to be here today. Well, good. Uh, what do you think about this match coming up there? Uh, well, Nick Varner's credentials speak for themselves, Howard. He's one of the greatest players that ever lived. I'm sure uh, he's going to show a, have a very respectable performance tonight. Well, good. And uh, Nick is uh, from Orlando, Florida, and his uh, he's uh, many times world champion in many games. And his opponent is David Grossman from St. Augustine Beach, Florida. And frankly, this is his first my first one pocket match with him. Uh, I'm familiar with David uh, in my travels. Uh, I've played a lot around the country and uh, I've seen David play uh, both nine ball and one pocket and uh, he's always in the money. Very, very good player. Um, all around player, a very smart player and holds up for the uh, pressure matches. This might be a good one. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, they're getting ready to lag. But David, uh, this is... Uh, my first one pocket match with him. I've seen him play on the tour. He just he's just come on the tour lately. Yeah, I think be, uh, for many years he's preferred to stay out of the limelight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, his his talent is really uh, adequate, though. I think uh, Nick uh, might underestimate him here. I'm hoping uh, that uh, he doesn't, and uh, it should be an even match. Well, uh, David's won the lag. And uh, one thing about winning the first break, if it goes to the hill, you get the last break. That's always a nice advantage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, providing they break well. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Do you have uh, the idea of racking your own balls? Absolutely. Um, you have, first of all, you have no complaint. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if you make a bad break, you, the only person you could complain to is yourself. And I've, I've been uh, keeping note, and uh, the balls break about the same, and sometimes uh, they don't break out well, but uh, I'm sure the guy didn't do it to himself. Yeah. Um, I, I think some of the old-timers might have uh, been uh, rack experts, uh, mm -hmm. but I think nowadays everybody's pretty much on an even keel. In one pocket. I don't know about nine ball. Yeah. Well, uh, David's broke the balls. He didn't didn't get the cue ball quite as far at the table as he wanted to. Yeah, but it's uh, pretty good. I guess uh, Nick is probably going to try and hit the bottom reel on this shot, uh, reel first with the cue ball and come up and hit the eight ball. Um, that would be my first guess of what he's going to do. What do you think, Howard? Well, I can't disagree with that. I I'd say that's probably his choice, uh, especially since that five ball is off the rail, it's not on the rail. Right. I mean, it's on the rail, it's not off the rail. It's off just a little bit, but uh, I don't think they would be able to bank it. And uh, Nick might make Look, a fill around like both of those. Yeah, he looks to go for a different shot here. Stick him in the uh, stack, I believe. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice shot. That's a nice shot. That he got the ball nice on shot. his side and left him over the top of the balls. and Absolutely nice shot. Well, David uh, gets to do something here. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks like he might be able to do might, something that seven. Yeah, he might, just right put back a, there. he might just put the seven ball up near the one and uh, put him right back on the stack again. Or, you know, there is another shot. He can go thin off that seven, knock it over to the rail, and leave the cue ball way up the table. Yeah, that and would be, uh, uh, if he if he blocks the nine, although that eight and. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, he went for that shot. Yes, he he was a little, hit it a little tentatively. Yes, he did. Can you hey, see the Nick three has ball? An you think open you can shot, see the three? Believe. You think he, uh, Nick can see the three ball? Uh, he can see it, uh, but I don't know if he makes it, but I think he can make the nine. I think the nine goes right down that rail there. Uh, David had to like block the eight and uh, well, well I'd uh, yeah I didn't like that I don't think he saw that nine ball I think he overlooked it well 
Oh, you think uh, Nick might have shot the wrong pocket? Uh, either that or uh, I'm confused at which pocket they have. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, no, I was confused. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> for a minute there, from, from that last save, to must have confused me. I was thinking that was next pocket. Yeah. You're right. I, I was the one confused. <laughs> Well, hey, they Howard, got, happy to be what I'm playing sometimes. They, uh, <laughs> I, shoot, I shoot in the other guy's pocket. They Don't got feel me bad. on that pocket there. <laughs> oh, that's a big mistake there. That was a big mistake. I think David's feeling the pressure just a little bit. Yeah. If, uh, if Nick doesn't have an offensive shot here, he's just going to hit the eight ball and take the three and the eight away from his pocket and mm -hmm. draw straight back up towards the nine ball. He should have a whole whole world of trouble for poor David right here. Yeah, he should be. Should be. Well, the eight ball should go over to his side and the three should go to his side. And, uh, you know, he's already got three balls over there. Mm-hmm. Well, he's got to be careful how fast that eight comes out of there. Uh, my hit stack and, and go to the side, but uh, you know if he has, if he's drawing that ball back up towards the nine, he's got to hit it pretty firm. Yeah, he might yeah. be just bunting. Yeah, I think we called nope. it right, Howard. No, nope, you yeah. got it. You picked that shot out real well. I think he well. wanted to go up a little higher than that, though. I think he might have mm -hmm. given him a, a chance to uh, hit the 14 ball, um, do something with the 14 mm -hmm. on the shot. Well, we have a. Uh, referee to gather the balls. I'm not sure who the gentleman is. He might just give him this 14 if he can't hit the back of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it looks like he can hit the 14. He's got to be careful about a shot on the one, though. Leaving him a shot on the one. They yeah, absolutely. Back in, leaving absolutely. The long straight in on that nine. Absolutely. I don't know if there's any kind of a time limit on these tournaments, uh, Howard. Are they, uh, you know, a shot oh. clock or anything like that? No. That was a nice shot. Very that good. That was a real very nice good shot. defensive shot. Oh, I'm telling you, you got to have a very special touch to shoot that shot in one pocket. Absolutely. I mean, on these tables, you got to be careful going into the rail. You still might scratch it, but he hit it with the speed and the angle, and he had the speed, so he wasn't going to get there. Well, That's can a pretty he hit, good can shot. Can he hit the 15 ball here? Or yeah, it? well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like AI hey, found pretty sure he can hit the 15. Yeah, he's got a direct shot at it. He gets it off that ball or hit it uh, thin or follow maybe it up. Maybe put the cue ball up against the 13 ball and uh, do some real damage here. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe beside that 11. No, he, uh, he's, uh, the he's cue ball's good. Uh, yeah, he followed it up, kissed that ball off, and brought it over. Yeah. I got a feeling he's been able to get behind this uh, this ball in the pocket here, though. Yes. Uh, uh, I mean, he'll probably go here with the cue ball if it, if, and then maybe hit the back of that ball. You think so? Uh, if he can, I believe that's what he'll do. If he can get there. Looks like he can get there all right. He's got to go that way. Yeah. Hit a little harder than I would have. He, 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 he moved that ball already over to his side. I would have just elected to uh, hide behind that balls, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe that way he might have done the smarter shot. Well, if he could get him behind the 14, he couldn't knock that four away now. Yeah. Uh, Nick's is looking up the table. I don't think he's going to shoot there. I think he's going to do something with that four. Maybe uh, bunt into it and put the cue ball up by the nine if he that can would do be a that nice with, choice, with it? the speed. I don't think he's got to be afraid of us going past the nine, giving a shot up. Well, you got to be careful. Which he did. That is, yeah, on this table, you got to be yeah. careful following yeah. those balls. Yeah. Like I'd that. rather go right into the nine than behind it, you know? At least I know I'm going to be safe. Well, way. I know playing this week, I misjudge that kind of shot a lot yeah. for some reason. I've been doing that all my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, David Grossman has another chance, another good chance to get some balls. And yeah. if he can get down to where that 14 15 is on this shot, yeah, he went in, for the 15 ball. Good looks like. business. Um. Well, now if he can squeeze down to that five. He may get the five for it. You know, he has a chance to get a bunch he, here. He might get right out here. You never know. This, uh -huh. I've seen people get out from stranger yeah. situations than this before. Well, you know something? He's straight enough. I think he can draw it back for the 14. Yes. At first, that angle didn't look like that. Oh, yeah, he's got a nice angle to get back on the 14. 
Beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Now I can go for the five. Or he can come up the table. What are we thinking? Yeah, well, the four ball goes by two up if he gets up mm -hmm. to the top. Mm -hmm. He's going for the five. Needs to get a little bit of an angle with that five. Wow, um, he had a lot of nerve drawing up, all didn't he? Yes, he did. I he, think that'll be the end of his run. Yes, I think he's going to make that at five. Well, if he can get if he can get off the red a little bit, he can bank that eight or that seven. Uh, I think a ten is up there. He might have to shoot seven. And our referee getting the balls is Jim Hayden. Is that how it is? Yes. Well. Well, I don't know. What do you do here? You go for the bank or you just start playing an upstairs game? It's better with a four ball lead, I think. I, well, since the four ball is there, I think I would bank one of those balls down there. Now, there was no nothing in the stack, but he's he's oh, going for the... looking at a kid shot here on the 11? No, that can't be. Uh, he might be looking at a kid shot and then sending the ball to the table. Yes, he is. Huh. Yes, he is, but you got to be careful even Nick down in the oh, short absolutely. area on this Nick, table. Nick's one of the greatest straight pool players ever lived. He'll run the balls out on you, give him loose, a loose shot. He will yeah, get him. Just a bank. If, that, if, that, if he had gotten a bank, he would do it for that, that cross-corner bank, and uh, he's he would be he's deadly on this. This is a tough one. I might kiss. Oh, yeah, he oh made it clean. my. What a nice he hit. He hit that bank good. That was a nice hit. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think Nick's going to try to cut this ball in. No, he he's going to take the 13 ball out. Mm -hmm. Leave him on the bottom rail. And... Nice shot. Well, he got it over there. Absolutely. It's, it's open to his pocket. And Mr. Hayden has gathered up his ball. I anticipate David uh, is going to hit the two into the six and just draw back to the bottom rail and take those two balls out left. That'll leave Nick in a little bit of a funny position. It is, but uh, that's Nick's best game is just long safety. But uh, he's he is executed well. This is a very difficult position to be in. If you roll up against the eight, you can bank the uh, you know you can mm -hmm. bank or double bank the two. Uh, if he rolls up on the two, you may have a bank on a seven. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, and you have to hit the ball soft to control it. I mean, well, if very rolls, tough position not to give up a shot right here. Well, if he rolls that two up there, it might block the seven. I've lost many many a ball right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As yes. you know, Howard. Yeah. Yes. He may try, yeah, he may try to, to roll the two up and block the seven ball. Yeah. Um, well, he's looking over careful. One yeah, thing about it, worry about, uh, you got plenty of time to, to decide and uh, kind of yeah, make, absolutely. Uh, guess what he's going to do. Because he does take his time shooting. He's going to shoot the eight, and I didn't think he would shoot the eight. It's not what I thought he would do. Yeah. But he did it. He may have a double bank on it, too. I don't think he can cut it, can he? Uh, you know, he may have a shot on the eight, but it's very close. And he might be able to stick him behind the three and block the 13, but he he didn't he didn't look up that way. It's been it been a dangerous yeah. kind of a dangerous shot. Again, he puts him in this long, slow rolling position. That's right. He's not taking any chance on giving Nick a uh, an opportunity to put something down in front of his pocket. He liked this long, slow game. I see Nick in trouble again here. I mean, uh, he can't go off the six, the 13, or the one. He's going to give up a shot on the two. Mm -hmm. um, if he goes off the right side of the four, he'll probably give up a bank on the two or or on the uh, seven or, you know, I don't know. It's a very difficult shot right here. He's in trouble. Well, I see him rolling up against that one. Looks like 13 might block those, but if it rolls off or hits a little too hard, he's, he can leave him straight in on that 13. Yeah, that's that's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. That's why I'd stay away from that shot. And uh, Nick he's, is he's uh, take a scratch. going double conservative. Well, I don't know. I think he was going to give up at least a shot or two there. I like yes. I like what he did. Uh, Nick gives up his uh, his only ball. David will probably. Uh, 
shoot right from here. I would imagine he's going to shoot the 11 ball. Yes. And uh, if Nick had to 0 one here, what would you do if he didn't spot that 11 up? Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I'd roll him right back over there. I might the take rock. a scratch back on him. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You better hope he doesn't scratch here. <laughs> Absolutely. He would have been left straight in if he didn't yeah. have uh, now Nick's got the shot on 11. I he might. Uh, Nick's not that ball take might fit. Left. If that ball, if the 11 fits by the six, if he, you can he may be it. able to get shape on another shot. He, yeah, if you can follow it and circle around behind that uh, four. Right. Yeah, so it's like a free shot. He got position and he's looking at it. But he's looking at. It. Oh, I think he can hold it and, and block the uh, four with the seven. What a hit! I, I believe what he hit, hit it. He, he might make this ball. It. Beautiful shot. He sure did. I think he's going to shoot the 10 and try and hold it for the two. Yeah, he might, or he might just roll it down. Don't want to double the corner. You have to hit it hard, double in case you miss a double corner and let it go in his pocket. He's thinking well, about that. Well, the other that. thing is, does Nick hold a ball here? Or he spotted one? No, he spotted one. Yeah. Uh, you have to keep that in mind if he's got one to bring up, you know? Mm -hmm. He's looking at shooting the six. If he's shooting at six, he's planning on uh, making sure he can make He's pretty sure he can make it. But he can roll that six. He doesn't have to, to jack up and fire it. He's not wanting to fire it down in this corner. I think that six is a very aggressive shot. At the same time, if he misses, it's going to be right in the jaws. I think that's one, something to do. Well, uh, he made it clean. He made it clean. Well, just about clean. Oh, I like the way that uh, he really didn't give up the two ball. Yeah. Yeah. Did a good job there. Now he's going to bank that two. Is he going to try to slide between the four and seven, you think? And um, go up the end I think rail he might follow into it. the four. He may follow into the four. He might. I can't see his exact angle. Yes, he did. It was laying for that, Howard. Uh, uh huh. He may have to give him this ball. That ball's so close to being in uh, the wise choice, maybe just to make, make it for him. Well, Nick made a couple balls and now trails in the game two balls to five. Well, he tried to take it out and he, yes, and he, he made did. it by he accident. Yes, he did. He got a little bit lucky there. I sure think he got a little bit lucky. Nick now he, has three. Yeah, if he would have tried to just gave him the ball, he would have been uh, in trouble a little bit here, I think, mm -hmm. Nick. You know, with a long, hard hit. Well, that one, now that one took a little wide. Yeah. That wasn't his best effort. No. Well, now he might shoot that seven, depending on how comfortable well, he is. Well, I think he's uh, got to. I mean, uh. With a shot, if he's comfortable with a shot, you shoot that seven, don't you? I think for sure he's got to shoot the seven ball. He may be able to play it free and come down for the bank. You know, yeah, little, but little right these follow. tables are hard. It's just tough to, they're kind of slick. It's tough to, uh, he's playing position on the four, I believe. Oh. Very nice shot. Yes, it was a very nice shot. Now, is it nice enough for him to shoot the four? <laughs> I don't think so. He's not thinking about that. Well. He's thinking about kicking that, uh, 10 out or something. Or oh, banking the 13 and following down, mm. maybe between the rail and the 10. I don't know if, if it's laying for that. Does it look like it's laying for that, Howard? Uh, it, it looks like he can, but he, he may not get the ball. The speed is wrong to get the 13 all the way across. It looks like yeah. the speed's wrong to get it all the way across. Probably needs to be a little more conservative than that. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see how uh, it, it's kind of uh, Chancey trying to bank that 10 over on your side of the table. You, you know, he hit it and just kind of go up the table because you're going to leave some kind of shot. And something bad might happen. Yeah, I think he's going to try to take the 10 ball out. No, he's shooting the 13. Maybe, yeah. he's, in, oh, maybe he's just going to play safe off the 13. No, he shot the 13 wow. ball. He shot that 100 miles an hour, didn't he? Yeah, that was a very uh, Chancey shot, you're right. That was Chancey. I, I didn't expect him to shoot at that speed. I expected him to maybe lag it to the hole, you know, mm -hmm. hoping he would get under the ball or behind a 10. 
Well, he got he got the cue ball okay, but it, the he left a shot, next shot on the 13, and that next shot it's it's like a bet, even money shot for him at least. I think maybe the the nerves are taking a little effect in the beginning of this match. He could have, but uh, David felt like he had a free shot at that ball. Maybe he felt like that uh, if it went long, that it would uh, double out of the corner, not leave him a shot. But that didn't occur. Well, David has six balls, uh, if my count is correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, next fixing to get within one and maybe more. What do you do? You double bank the one or you want single reel the four? I think since the four is on his side of the table, you shoot that. But I don't. I wonder why Nick just didn't draw it up a little bit and bank that eight down here. Get position back to four next shot. Yeah, that might have been a good choice. Well, this is one reason right here. Yeah, I don't think he made a good uh -oh. effort on that one. This might cost Nick the game. Well, he got a little unlucky on his roll there, you know. It, that ball, that's about the only way he could get a shot. He was being aggressive, but uh, banking that four and sticking him over. If he gets close, he can't knock it out. Oh, yeah. But he's got to make this ball. For sure. Oh, that was well, a, that was he a got really it, tough he mess. He got it close. Very tough mess. But Nick's got... Uh, Nick could win the game right here. Yes, he, well, he's got a... I don't know how high that three is, if he can bank it, but he can make either the one or the four and come around and uh, and get shape on on the one. If he Which would you four. like to do here, Howard? Cut the one down or shoot the four? I don't think he's going to play with the three. I might shoot the four. That one, uh, if, I would shoot the shot I was most comfortable with. Uh, and here it would be the four ball. But I, he's, he's looking to go, I think, go real first and kick that three over on his side of the table, too. I'm surprised. I, I thought he would shoot the four. But that's a pretty good shot right there. Well, very conservative, uh, considering the score, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, David uh, has got six, and Nick has five. And, uh, well, I thought, sure, he'd shoot that four. And then if he got out of trouble, shoot knock that three out next. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that might have, uh, that well, might yeah. be something right there. Yeah, yeah, he's for sure got a chance to win it here. He might be able to cut the four right in. If not, he got a bank on a three with position on the four. Well, that eight ball has something to say about that bank, but, and it's close, but uh, I think uh, you shoot the four if you can make it, because you just got, you just go up the table and you double get position on the, the three, the eight, or the one, you get the position on either one of those balls, depending on the, on the exact angle you have there. Oh, I missed the ball. Oh, my. That ball hit the inside corner, didn't it? Well, wow, boy. Mm. Well, both these guys are, are uh, yeah. hit and missing or not, not doing exactly. I, th I think that uh, there's a lot of nerves this first match because they're mm -hmm. jockeying back and forth. It's, just, it's not really... Uh, It's not really typical of their style of play or their abilities, I don't think. Mm. Well, now, he knocked this ball out with a double kiss. He might be able to bank it for his pocket. I can't see the exact angle. He did it, he knocked it out very the other nice way around. Shot. Very nice shot. That's a very nice shot. This guy had some great one pocket skills. This is my first adventure with him on the table, but he, uh, he has some good one pocket skills. I Absolutely. see that. Well, if he banks the eight ball here, he's in that position on the four and make it out. He does. Uh, if he hits that one, clips that one coming by, it's bad news. And he hit it perfect. Four, the uh, one didn't come into play. Right, he didn't get the angle on the four here. I don't think he can get up for the one. He might end up uh, making the four and have to three reel the one ball. Yeah, that looks like the shot. Just make sure you make that one. Probably, uh, if he makes this ball, his cue ball probably end up in this area and he might want, might want to three reel a the one ball like this here. Mm -hmm. Well, first order of business making this four. Yeah, well, he's a great player. He shouldn't I, make I think he shouldn't make this ball. Ooh, close to that side. Yep. Here comes that three real shot, Howard. Yep. 
He's these got these tables are, are new cloth on the tables. Are play, tables play a little bit long. Uh, I expect the, if he doesn't allow for it, uh, it may hit the bottom rail, the short mm -hmm. rail. Yeah, that's bottom rail all the way. Yeah. But, but it's but, a good safe shot. Yeah, you think it didn't go long, hit ball hit in the middle of the rail. Yeah. And uh, and he's been playing. He's allowing for it some. Well, we have a new game here. Yeah, it's called one ball, one pocket. <laughs> Now, do you kick this ball up the table, or do you knock it over towards your side? Um, I, I don't even put it towards my side. I put it to the middle of the rail and get the yeah. cue ball all the way to the top. Uh -oh. I don't want to give him, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to give him a bank coming back, you know what I mean? I just mm -hmm. as soon uh, leave him alone. But mm -hmm. uh, David hit the ball a little bit too thick and mm -hmm. had a little bit of run of bad luck with that side pocket. You know, I've watched Nick play several matches. He's not shot to a spot shot once. He gives knock that ball over his, to his side every time when he needs one. Hmm. Well, now David's got a chance here to bank that one and uh, spin around the table and get a shot on the five. And he hit it pretty good. Oh, wow. He oh, hit it too good. Hit it a little too short. Man, he hit that I don't know if he can see the one ball now. Can he see just the... Uh, he can see it, I believe. I believe he can. If not, he can hit that five and put him behind the one, but I think he can see the one. That one may come down. Uh, he's going to be able to see it. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it, but he's going to be able to see it. He's got a chance to put the one over his side and block him with a five, put the five between the five and the one. What do you think is to put the one ball near the side pocket or, or, yeah, or closer to where the cue ball is now? No, I think he put it over by the side pocket. He wouldn't bank it underneath. He banked it up. Oh, and now he banked it. He went for the he went for the gusto there. He sure did. He sure did. It would, have, well, would have a pretty good result. Well, if he made it, he was out. That was an aggressive shot. Absolutely. I expect Nick to... Now, can Nick bank sure. this cross corner and yeah, uh, stretch it? Yeah, it's a possibility, but he's going to make sure he doesn't give up a shot back in case it doesn't go. Mm -hmm. Well, he can bank it over his pocket. I, so I expect the uh, cue ball at the, uh, to follow this path here. Um, something right, yeah. like that. Yeah, I expect that. And Nick banked it to the end rail, make sure he didn't get it up here too far. Well, David's got a shot here, just knocked the ball over on his side. Well, you know. Yeah, that's how I, yeah, that's how I play the shot. I play the shot with no English, Howard. And I just put the cue uh -huh. ball to the dot, top right in the, at the Brunswick. Uh -huh. Something like that. Yeah, well, the last time David shot that shot, he ended up in the side pocket. He made sure right. he didn't get near it this right. time. Well, Nick's got those balls down there together. Well, Nick only needs one ball. I think he'd prefer that one of them was up and out of play. Yeah. But you got to be careful when you hit these balls. The cue ball can jump, go around the other one. He Ooh, got them both nice out shot. of there. Nice shot. He got them both up and out of there. I think David's going to have to use the one ball. Uh, well, it's, 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 it might get a kiss if he just knocks it over on his side of the table. Uh, and it's liable to scratch trying to make the two wheeler here. That's a little, a little chancy, too. Well, he shot it. Left Nick, though. Got it down in play. Uh, Nick has a bank on the five, but uh, that's the good part of the shot. The bad part of the shot is uh, if it comes up for a bank uh, for David, if he doesn't make the five, both balls will now be in play again. That's right. That's right. Now, but Nick has a chance to win the game on this shot. Absolutely, right and he has to take it. And that's a little long. It's easy to get the balls long on these tables, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> new now, cloth, new cloth, that seems like to do that. Well, yeah, now this is a little bit, you still got to roll that ball over the middle of the table. Well, he put it up the table a little bit. Well, Nick, I like that shot, Howard. Yeah. I like that shot. That's the shot he tried when he scratched in the side earlier. Yeah. He left him, uh, I think he can't even hit the one ball, which takes one of the options out. Yeah, I look for Nick just to bank that 
five up on his side and put the cue ball down there on the rail, but he well, can't. Well, the bottom with that is, is he may put him down there where he can bank the one. That's right. That one ball is a good distance off the rail. If it goes a little high and cross bank it and goes low, he can just go ahead and, and, and For sure. back it up across there. Oh uh, boy, that five uh, might go in the, hall, in the pocket. Yes, it is. Well, it gives David a chance to shoot at the money here. Uh, that angle might be a little thin, though, to control that cue ball real well and, and bank that five two rails to his pocket. But he, and in doing so, he'd have to be careful. I've seen people to try to bank this five one rail already. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Ooh. Bugs Rucker? Yeah. <laughs> Not this week, though, right? The, might be the world's greatest banker. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he made one of the best banks I've ever seen. I'm not sure what he's doing. He might be trying for it here. No, he just played a nice defensive shot. Yes, he did. But again, Nick can uh, thin that ball, even uh, hit it nice and thin if he can get at rail speed, you know, and uh, put the cue ball down behind that one on David's side of the table. Yeah, I think David, David's hoping for Nick to make a, a bad hit here. And yeah. I think he might be waiting a long time for Nick Varner yeah. to make a Nick's, bad hit. Nick's going to bank this ball over. Ooh, he almost got a sweet kiss. Yes. He really almost got a sweet kiss. Uh -oh. There's Here that side, side pocket, pocket again. again. I thought I thought David knew not to do that. Um, I thought he, he learned uh, from the first time. He keeps thinking he can do something over here, and it's not happening. Well, now Nick Nick needs one, and David yeah. needs three. I wonder if he's going to shoot. The, he oh, he's like going. He, he's going to shoot the spot shot because it's a, if he hits it soft, uh, the cue ball rolls right behind the one ball, and the game's over anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, the only thing that could mess this up be a really bad hit too thin and kiss that one on the wrong side and too thick I don't think uh, he missed it far enough to hurt himself there this ball still go down behind the one yeah, I'm pretty sure Nick uh, uh, Nick's gonna have this game mm -hmm. yeah he's not looking wow he's looking going the to the conservative ball. route again he's cutting that five ball over there maybe even kissing it off the one well very surprised. Very surprised, Harold. That wouldn't have been my choice. Yeah, you know, uh, Nick is playing. Uh, I guess he just wants to make sure he gets this first game. You know, yeah. he wants to, doesn't want to take any, make any big blunders. You know, that, that could Keep well be it. Going, you know. And Nick's a free thinker. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. no, nobody says he's got to do what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, can David uh, come off the seven, put him five? Well, he wants to move that five out of there. How he might be going for a three rail here. He, I believe he is. It's tough to get this ball short enough. It is very tough. Hey, that ball's going to hit up by the side pocket almost. Yeah, but, but, it, but it, it may come it down and cover. Uh, um, if he gets it down below that one, he'd be in business. But uh, Nick has a, a, some kind of bank here, I think. Looks like he can even, he can even bank that one. He's looking, and he can see that five. Uh, he's going out. He's going at that five, which is probably the proper shot. Uh oh. Well, he got the speed right. Didn't get in that corner pocket. He sure did. Uh, David's in a little bit of trouble here. It's hard to get that five over there without giving Nick a shot at something. Yeah, he might hit the long rail and kick at the five here. What do you think, Howard? Hit the long rail? Yeah, he, he might uh, he might go over here. Behind it, yeah. Like this. Oh, I see. I, I see. I see. Hit the side of it. I don't yeah. think he's going to scratch if he does I that. I was thinking the end rail. But, uh, yeah, that, that uh, he's got to be careful with that. Uh, anywhere he goes here, it's dangerous. Yeah. And I don't see him coming off of anything else. Looks like the fireball is one he's got to hit. And uh, he's... Uh, yeah, he he's was, beside himself. He's not sure what to do here. Yeah, he's, he's he might end up taking some kind of scratch. I don't know, or what? Or what I said. 
Well, I don't know. Uh, it'd be difficult to even take a scratch here, you know, unless it, you roll it so easy you can freeze them up behind the fire. But that's uh, that's a little bit too fine. A little bit too fine. I think he made up his mind. May, uh, oh, now I still see one other shot. I didn't see him before. Kicking behind by the seven, kicking behind the uh, the. Uh, He's going to try and bank the fight. He's going to try and bank the fight. No. He's not sure what to do. I see kicking behind the seven. I see kicking behind the seven like this. He tried that five ball shot, uh, Howard. Yes, he did. And uh, I think he's going to lose the game here. Looks like this five may go on a one real bank. Yeah, I think they can bank it past that. He hit that. the five good, though. He caught the one ball. If he uh, hit it slightly thinner, he might have made it and run right out. Mm -hmm. Well, on that kind of shot, I like to just kick it to the end rail, not taking any chance on trying to make it. Sure. Now, Nick can uh, make this ball without clipping that one, but uh, you got to hit that ball firm coming across on this table. Well, I'll tell you what. He doesn't got fall another, to this Dave's rail. got another chance to win this game. Here. He's got another chance. He can bank the five, or but he's got to bank the five. I don't think that's seven. I don't think he can play the seven. Well, right. if you bank the five, isn't the uh, yellow ball in the way? Yeah, well, it, it, if you don't make the seven, Nick's going to have a shot. Well, it isn't over if he scratches. No, oh, he. Uh, I guess he conceded the game. Yes, I think he conceded. He made yes. yeah, but then he then he fouled and uh, he well he was going to scratch. He made the ball in the pocket. But he was going to scratch. He should have spotted one up. But he went ahead and conceded the game. I think he, uh, I think David was feeling he wasn't thinking clearly right there and kind of made a rash decision. But at any rate, Nick Varner has won the first game and leads the set one game to nothing. But that was unusual the way that went out there. You know, if he spots those balls up, I don't think there's anything else out there. Well, there was one ball straight, and I think he had a long strip ball. It was it's going to be straight with right? a ball in hand behind the line. Yeah, I think it was over. But uh, well, I think it was. But uh, whose uh, break is it now, Howard? Uh, it is uh, David Grossman's break. No, it is Nick Va Nick Nick Varner's break. David won the lag first break. So once again, he'll be racking for himself. He's racking for himself, and uh, you know he's broken David's serve when that yeah. first game. That's important. Nick's a real veteran. I mean, uh, it's going to be uphill from now on for David once the, uh, Nick wins that first uh, serve break, you know? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I did notice a real aggressive attitude in David Grossman. Yes. If he starts hitting uh, his three-point shots, <laughs> he's going to be a dangerous man. Well, you know, he shot that seven. He's feeling looked like he's feeling heat because he shot that seven awful quick. Like he felt like he had to make a decision right there. Yeah. Real quick. Uh, it, it just felt a little uncomfortable. I don't know if it's his first uh, feature match or what, but he, he. Okay, now, listen, fans. Sure. We're going to take another look at this shot that David ended the match with and uh, here it comes now and he's firing this seven trying to come around make it come around get behind the it was trying to get behind the uh, over by Nick's pocket with the cue ball and uh, as you can see the seven ball was up there okay we're David's back and uh, Nick has racked up the balls and is waiting for his opponent I like the gentleman he is, and uh, Nick's preparing to break the balls. Uh-oh, Nick hit him pretty good, but that's six ball came out, and I believe it's left David a shot. He's going to try to cut this ball in, uh, Howard. Yeah. Yes, I think he's going to try to shoot, shoot that six. He may. Uh, he, he he looks like he's looking at something else, but uh, it looks to me like he's got a shot on the six. That ball's a good uh, two or three inches off the rail. It looks like. Well, 
what do you think he's going to do with the cue ball if he plays that shot, Howard? Well, he's not going to play. Uh, well, he he would play to break those balls out some way, but he's uh, kicking. Uh, very nice shot. He made a very nice very shot. Nice shot. Uh, perhaps he decided to play a little more conservative this game. Yeah. But he made um, a very good shot. I think Nick's uh, can see the three ball, can he? Uh, yes, he can. He may, he may uh, put that three ball into a bank and uh, leave that cup ball on a six. If he didn't like it the first time, he may not like it the second time. That's right, but he uh, may not be so close to the rail this time, but Nick usually gets his speed down very well. And uh, if he gets the ball by the pocket and doesn't leave him a shot at that 14, he might uh, he got a chance to to uh, put him in a spot here. Nick's won just about every uh, title he can think of. Uh, I mean, uh, on the professional tour, hasn't he, uh, Howard? He has. He's won uh, many nine ball titles, many one pocket titles. I think he was a straight bank, pool champion, too, wasn't he? Straight pool champion, bank pool champion of the world, uh, eight ball champion. Well, there is. Uh, Tournament results, uh, Nick Varner has beat Dick Weaver four to nothing, Corey Duell four to one, Bobby Hunt four to one, and uh, Mike Sardelli four to two. Uh, he's playing well. So nobody he's, seems to get the three out of him. That's right. Nobody, the best thing one's done has got two. And that uh, speaks well for this safety play he's doing. And uh, Nick chose to uh, move that three down there and stop the cue ball right there. Now, apparently, he, he's using the 14 to block that three. And David is looking at something. I'll tell you what, he got David in a real predicament. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it looks like he can shoot the 14 down there and into the rail and kiss the three. Yeah. But he's got to do something to the cue ball so he can't get to that five. What do you think about drawing off the 15? you think he could slide it down the rail and uh, not scratch behind the three ball? Uh, he could, but that, that is a very chancy shot on these tables. It's hard to judge that speed coming down there on any yeah. table. I've lost many a dollar on that shot, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I scratched a few times myself. Just a few. <laughs> uh, I think you're right. He's going to do something with the 14 3. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like the ant ball is angled. Uh, I can follow it down there. If you can you get it right on the rail and protect that six, maybe it's just maybe it's going to uh, shoot it hard and not try to get either ball in. Yeah, just knock stop, them out. Try to stop almost right there and take the two of them out. Yeah, that's the shot. Look at this wow, shot. Wow, look at the result. Nice shot. Nice result. Ooh, nice shot. That's a nice one body put, shot. Definitely put Nick on the defensive. Yes, he did. Well, Nick's got a couple of choices here. The little chancy off the one or the five and try to knock that six ball in. Uh, or go underneath it and uh, and knock it up the table. You know, I don't think he'd knock it in, but try to go underneath it. Yeah, I like, I like going off the five because that blocks a bank, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's got to uh, be very careful. He don't scratch on this ball. Ooh. Good call, Howard. <laughs> Ooh. Well, David's got a chance to stick him here. Uh, don't look like he's got enough room for that five, but he might have it. Coming off the two, putting it behind the five looks like a real good shot. Well, oh, that was tried a to squeeze that bank yeah, in there. Yeah, that was a blunder. He caught the point with the, with the five. And mm hmm He's going to have to pay for that. Yeah, he's he looks a little anxious. He just doesn't want to move with Nick all of a sudden. Well, Nick's got another chance here. I think he'll try and come up for the 15 or, of course, for the 1. Or, uh... Uh, it looks like he's hitting it low. Maybe that 4 ball goes. Wow. I don't know if I would shoot this 4 ball. Well, he's going to draw it a little bit and... Uh, Think and, he'll get another shot? And get another shot. Well, he's got him over there, but he 
Is that 12 ball that, go? That ball may fit by the eight, I can't tell. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like it goes all right. He can make that 12 and roll down a little bit, and he's got the eight. He can uh, go across for the uh, one and two, maybe. Very uh, nice shot, but uh, I don't know if he got over enough for the one, did he? Uh, it's close. It's very close, but he, if he shoots, he's got enough room. Uh, he wants to come up and knock that seven and that nine around a little bit. You don't want to block the 15. Well, Nick's got uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Nick's got four. I think he has four playing for four more. Just think about banking that two, maybe. But he don't have to shoot that shot yet. If he he can draw this ball over there, uh, you know, get shape on the. Uh, yeah, I'd be looking at the 15 and the seven. From and my, he's got from the my nine square. and ten too. Really. Uh, he go SC. You, know, you go up the table if you get shape on that seven only. You might. Uh, oh, he's looking at the two. Very nice shot on the two. That's a real good shot. Real good shot. Might end up banking the six next. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. He's got a pretty good angle. He just might go up the table for the ten or the, or the nine this shot. Hit it nice. Pull the right again, Howard. Four, eight, nine. It needs two, I believe. That's correct. Uh, the nine, the ten are sitting right there. Yeah, if, the, if, uh, if, if he makes the nine, he'll be able to get out of ten if it goes by. He looks like he's following this ball. Well, he didn't like uh, Maybe it didn't go it by. He's going to bank the six, and uh, he figures to make this anyway. That should be about a two to nothing game here. Uh, well, it's over in the jaws. Well, he's in deep trouble with this poor Ken. Yes, he David, is. David, I mean. Uh, Nick, Nick's playing for one. David, uh, he's in the deep of it. Try to get that ball out. I thought he might look at that 14 for a straight back. But uh, David's showing a little frustration. Yes, a little bit. I believe Nick's out. Well, Nick has won the second game of the set, now leads two to one. I'm sorry, two games to zero. They're playing best four out of seven, is that correct? Uh, That's correct. Howard? It's two to nothing, race to four. Nick's Q. Uh, you know what kind of Q he plays with, Howard? Uh, I believe that is a Falcon. Pretty Q. Yes, it is. Well, David Grossman's racked up the balls, getting ready to break. And he made an excellent break. Excellent. Very difficult to defend against this break here. Yes, it is. But Nick's one of the best. Well, so he can hit the 12 and he can hit the one, and he can also hit that 13 and stick him on top of that stack again. And I got a feeling that's where he's going. But David might be able to just roll over there and put him right back where he is. He's there, and uh, yeah, he'll probably just go off this ball real easy and put him in the same position he was just in. Yeah, it looks uh, like that's the best shot. He'll probably just come right over here and leave the cue ball in that area. Yes. Oh, he did the better than that. He put him right on the stack. Yes, he did. Made the move a little bit sweeter. Yeah. 
I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> when I played, I might have chose that shot, but I didn't, I didn't see it right here. Mm -hmm. Well, Nick's got uh, he's in a tough position. He may even take a scratch from here, but it, it looks like he'd have all the worst of it doing that. Well, the the nine ball. If you leave uh, if you leave uh, David long, uh, does the eight fit through real easy, or is the nine blocking part of that there's, pocket? There's plenty of pocket over there. You might even be able to make the one down through there, but All I right. think Nick's going to roll that ball over by the nine. Go, uh, it looks like he's got a safety here. To uh, well, Nick's not not looking at it now. Let's see uh, if he gets out of the way. I'll see what he. Now, that's what I'm thinking. And leave him down in here somewhere. Just taking a scratch or maybe going off the ball. He, he's taking a scratch. Uh, uh, how'd he hit it? Very nice shot. He hit that ball pretty good. Very nice shot. <laughs> well, David's got a couple options here. If he can thin that, uh, I don't think he can thin that nine enough to get it around where it was. I mean, he has the option of taking the exact same scratch back, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, but uh, coming off the side wheel going over there is tough. He's got a chance to kick at this one. No, he's hitting the eight directly. I like kicking at that one on that shot and send the ball up the table because you got the eight, still got the eight down there. Yeah. But uh, now Nick can, uh, Nick's got more options here. He can go real first and hit the nine. But it's, again, the ball's close to the pocket. He's got to be careful about scratching. It looks like he can go behind the nine to the end rail and kick it out of there, too. He's stalking the table. Huh? He's going to consider oh, yeah. all his options before oh, he yeah. shoots. Absolutely. Looks like he's going to the end rail. Good shot, but good shot. But David wow. does have a bank on the nine, and I don't really? know what else. What do you think about a kick shot on a three ball or on a 13 15? Uh, that's a possibility, but I don't see it. He may not stick the ball there, but it uh, on that kick shot you discussed. Well, he's a beautiful made the bank. bank. What a beautiful bank he just made. On the kick shot you discussed, uh, that 14, if he hit in that 14, it looks like the 14 might be dead. And I don't know if it's dead now or not. Well, but it could if, be. If it's dead in Nick's pocket, Nick's one of the best combination uh, players in the world. Yeah, he can hit it several. Well, that eight ball's in a way, but he can use the eight ball and shoot it into the ball. It's just above the 11 there. Probably, uh, that's probably the... 10 or the 12. No, I say the 12. It's probably the 10. And uh, he can hit that. He can go off that ball or the 4. And the 4 hit the 6. And 6 go into the 11. 11 into the 14. What do you think about cutting the 8 ball right in? Uh, I don't like that. That's a. That's a kind of a you got to make shot. it. You got to make it or else. I mean, anything you shoot at, you got to make. What a great and shot. That was a good shot. He gave him the shot and he knocked the two out of there. That was beautiful. Well, he, he made, Nick made an excellent shot. David gets the ball and Nick gets out of trouble temporarily, but uh, it looks like he can do something with this eight and put him right back in there. Not as tough as he was in last time, but he still bank it down to his pocket and put that cue ball over by the rail maybe. The eight, you like the seven? Or you can't hit the eight, maybe? I, I don't I don't know if he can hit the eight. It looks like maybe the seven's in the way. Oh, uh, maybe you're right. He's he's looking at the two. Well, he's hit it out wide. Make sure it didn't hit that one coming down there. Now I like a shot on the twelve or the eight, maybe. Interesting. 12 ball might be a good shot here. Mm -hmm. 12 or the 8. I don't know. The, I can't see the exact angle, but it looks like he can, uh, he can certainly shoot the 12 and have a shot on the, if he doesn't make it, uh, David might get a bank on the uh, 
three. What do, you, what do you think about the 12 off the off of the uh, was that the 14 ball there? Uh, it's not a bad and shot. And then you can put the cue ball right on the rail mm -hmm. behind the two, and you never give up a shot at all here. All right. And that 13 and 15 looks it's, it's not dead, but it's uh, it's close to his pocket. It's close to the angle. It's close to his pocket. Well, I think he's going to shoot one of those balls. Uh, no, maybe he's shooting the two, or he might be shooting the eight. Now Nick hit that ball pretty short, and uh, that ball still, it's hard to shorten those up enough on these tape. Yeah, it's been a little conservative on that shot, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just uh, making Nick's, sure he doesn't give him an easy shot. Nick's been playing like this. I've been watching him play a couple sets, and he's been playing the exact same style. David played, made a, a safety down at the end rail. But if it looks like Nick might be able to get to that seven, if he can, he got a chance to put him in between that six and five, go to the rail with the cue ball and come back up against, maybe between, up against that six and five. Yeah, I mean, that would be my choice, too. It's well, like a safety door. Yeah, yeah. Nick didn't uh, didn't uh, really get very aggressive there with that safety. No, no, he I didn't. thought he might move that seven up here and stick him, stick David right in that stack, but he didn't. David want might to take shoot a the twelve and, ball and put him under the rack. Yeah, and he can even can shoot it toward his pocket pretty good. Well, moved over to his side. Got to be careful that three balls there. He did fine. Yeah. Very good safety. Looks like Nick gets to that seven again, maybe. Uh, looks like he's about the same place. Looks like he can get to it this time and shoot it up the table and, uh, you know, just move it up maybe by the one and put the cue ball over by the five and six. There you got it. Very nice shot. Well, that limits the David's options here. Yes, it does. It really limits his options. If he can cue the ball over the six and draw it, he can bank it up the end rail and pull the cue ball down to the end, to to this uh, on the bottom rail there. And it looks like that's what he's shooting at, looking at, trying to. But he came he came straight across the table. That's pretty a good shot. shot. That's a pretty shot if he covers a seven, sure. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Pretty good shot there. Clearly, David's playing much more aggressive than Nick. Mm -hmm. Well, most of Nick's opponents do. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but most of them do. And uh, uh, Nick has got something here. He must be shooting at six. I'd say he's shooting it. Beautiful shot. Right in the wicket. And. Anything else go, or is he going to have to bank the seven? That seven ball looks like it, but he's looking there. He's looking to stick him, shoot that 11, and stick him on top of the 15, I think, and knock those uh, couple balls. I don't know exactly how that 13 is going to kiss, but it could uh, kiss right over on the side reel. The three ball come down a little bit. Well, I think he's going to bank the, the 10 three. ball and draw it right back on, Ooh. stick him on the 11. That's a good shot. A little bit easy. But he didn't let Whitey go. Yeah, he's uh, he didn't take any chances at all. Well, David's looking at that two ball. Yeah, he's in the two wheel and two ball and trying to get him against the rack. Well, he let, let the cue ball go a little too low now. Oh, uh, well, he got away. He didn't, didn't damage himself too much. Nick has uh, owed a ball, and he's been reminded that he owed, that he does owe one. He, David reminded him, and he is now. Uh, has spotted the one he owes. And so this game, 
David Grossman is leading. Yeah, that was very nice of tonight. David to remind them. It was real nice of him. <laughs> and there is uh, a safety. And uh, if David wants to just play safe, that's what uh, he's got some safeties there to play, but he wants to be aggressive. I don't see very much. Well, he tried to stir up the balls a little bit. Well, Nick's looking, the ball's over, and it looks like he can hit that 14 fully if he follows straight over there. I don't know what he's going to leave very much. I don't know if, if he's going to leave anything. Uh, he's looking at the two, or, yeah, I'll leave the two he's looking at. He might be able to two reel a two and make it hit the 10 ball. What do you think of that? Oh, man, he got that ball close to that pot. Wow, uh, did he? That was a great shot. Yes, excellent shot. Well, you hit on the uh, on, on the, hit a ball that close to the uh, pocket, you have a chance to hit that corner and come right straight down your opponent's rail. David's shooting the five, thanks straight ahead. Well, he blocked the uh, five seven with the five, and. Uh, I think Nick's just going to go we'll knock the 15 up table and leave him under the rack again. He may, maybe try and put him on top of it. There it is. Better yet. On top of those balls. Uh, David's going to try to hit him thin. Seems well, like shot after nice shot, shot, Nick just keeps leaving uh, David in a position where he can't do much, you know? Yep. I guess David would be getting frustrated about now. Yeah, you can tell he's he's anxious, a little frustrated. He's uh, his body language, the way he's sitting in the chair. He looks like he's ready to shoot. Well, he's relaxed a little bit more now. I think he likes the run out style game a little better, maybe. Yes, I believe he does. Well, Nick uh, will make you feel like a run out player because he plays so many safeties. Uh, when you see any kind of shot, you think, oh, this is it. <laughs> Gets you anxious to shoot. Well, next shot toward his pocket. I don't see anything in the stack that's dead to you. I don't see anything. And that one ball doesn't look like it's an option. He'll scratch and decide if he shoots. I think he's going to take the 10 ball and hit it with a follow and take the 12 and the 10 out of there. You got to be careful. You don't double kiss on these shots. There you go. It's returning to the scene of the crime here, Howard. Oh, yeah. It's coming right down. Well, he thought sure he was going yeah, to hit. He thought it was going to hit the 12, and it just just missed the missed the shot a little bit. He's trying to knock him out, and uh, just failed to make contact with those other balls. And Nick uh, hit the stack, knocked something. Uh, David hasn't been uh, hasn't gotten comfortable yet. And he didn't get anything. I mean, you'd think if, he, if Nick hitting on that side of the ball, something would, would have happened good towards David's pocket. But it just didn't happen like that. And uh, Nick uh, ha has made one. And I see at least three more he can get, maybe more. Shoot the 12. Uh, was that the 12 ball? Then come across for the three. You think? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm looking at those balls and I'm wondering which way. How about way the 213? So 213 look like it has a prayer. Uh, it looks like that 11's in the way. He might go uh, instead of shooting coming up for the three right now. He might go into those balls. What do you think? Uh, he might. He might. But he, he doesn't want to stick in there and, and knock something by David's pocket and be. F be facing a safety. Sitting at high, isn't he? Uh, he might be coming across at him. Yes, he did. Um, he might not have gotten the best roll in the world here. I can't tell if he could cut that ball in or not. 
But you know, as, as carefully as he's being, I would think that he he would uh, that that shot could have come up, and he, he wouldn't have shot that. He went ahead and taken a chance on three or sure or something like that. Yeah, he's disappointed with the leave. Mm-hmm. Well, he's got the four. If he can get to it, and apparently he can get to it. Good shot. Well, I'll tell you, he's one of the most prolific uh, manufacturers of shots and safeties that uh, you'll ever see at this game. Yeah, he comes with them. He does come with them. Well, he is left David a bank. David finally has a shot in his pocket. Now this, I know this looks good to him. He's got to be careful. Needs a little help. He, he might, he might get a little help. No, uh, no help that today. Would been, that would have been a good one. Well, Nick knocked that four in. He's also got a bank on the eleven. That eleven is not an easy bank on this table. Nick's taking the uh, the sure route. So give him the ball. Yes. Well, it's now three to two. For some reason, it seems like Nick's way ahead in this game, but he's only ahead three to two. Yeah. That's a good shot right there. Boy, if that ball goes in, he would have been in business. Well, if he, if he uh, can't hit the 13 ball, Nick's in a little bit of trouble, too, anyway. Mm hmm. But Nick's got a bank on the seven, but I don't feature him shooting that. No, I don't think he wants to do that with the two ball that mm -hmm. so close to the pocket. If he can uh, get down to that 13, I think he will go real first and kick it. Looks like he's shooting the 11. Uh, he, uh, he has played on a good safety. He sure is. He's, he's, maybe he's, maybe the ball rolled a little bit farther than he wanted. He's relentless with these uh, safes one after another. And if, I don't know what David can see up the table. But he makes a... Uh, yeah, he just wanted to protect the 13 and the 2. I, th I don't think he can hit it. The 8 might be in a way. He's trying to hold him off, get a shot. Nick, uh, he may go rail first at the 13 if he can get there. But he may go off the 11 again. I'm looking at the one ball, uh, Howard. Mm -hmm. um, he may not be able to bank the one to the hole, but he might be able to play the one ball and, and draw to the outside of the two, at least make a safe out of it. And the one may come in off the three or might do something exciting. Yeah, I see that, but I don't think he's going to do that. He, one thing, he's got to be perfect down there. He'll leave a shot on the 11. Well, he's uh, made a safety. I made a pretty good shot. Drew the ball up here where he didn't leave anything. And uh, David. Uh, David's got to be getting frustrated. Yeah, he's looking uh, for something, but he's just not getting anything to shoot at. Call that a free shot he's looking for, uh, Howard. Mm -hmm. Something that if he misses won't cost him anything. And uh, all that Nick seems to be giving him is high cost shots. Well, I don't think he can shoot that one. I don't think he can control the cue ball. And if he gets behind the stack there, where Nick doesn't have anything, he wouldn't have anything either. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he can get to that 11. No, I don't believe he can. He's, uh, he's looking uh, to me as if he's trying to be aggressive again. Mm -hmm. Well, he's looking for something to do. He knows that the game seems to be going way away from him, but the score is only 3-2, to two, right? Absolutely. It's 5, 10, 15. Yes, the, the score is still 3 to 2. And then, uh, although it does seem like everything's gone bad for David and everything good has happened for Nick, uh, Nick is still only hit 3 to 2. What's the score in the games, Howard? Larner has 2, and Grossman is at 0. Well, I'm going to well, tell you he something. a nice long shot on this uh, 11 ball, but uh, it would be a high cost and easy shot to miss in a high cost if you miss it. All right. Yeah, he made a pretty good shot. Nick May, if he shoots a ball, he may shoot the seven. But uh, 
I, I suspect he's going to play safe some way. Oh, where's he got for a safe here, Howard? I don't see it. I don't know. I didn't see that last safe that David shot there, but he picked it out. How about the 15? Can he make the 15 ball? Um, it's close. It's uh, close. I think you're right. It looks like he might be going for the 7. No, he's playing safe. Another wonderful safe. Another safe, but he left the bank. I think he left the bank on the 13, but th that is a tough bank on this table. To he left the bank on the 2 also. He might be able to draw right. the ball back for position on the 13 ball if he makes the 2. Absolutely, but he's got to be careful. He's got to hit this ball hard. If the 2 ball doesn't go in, he's up to leave Nick a good bank on the 13. So shooting this 2 is, can be a high cost also. And if Nick gets a bank on the 13, I believe the game will be over with. Hit it real bad. Yes, he did. Well, Nick's got a couple of shots here, yeah, I believe. he gave him a free bank on the eight. He gave him a... Eight or the six, either one. And I believe Nick would take the six. Yeah, he's going to take the eight and follow over for the 13 as yeah. a next shot if he makes it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I thought he might take, well, take that six. I think six. David dodged a bullet there. Yes, he did for a second. Well, now, David, uh, you think he planned that corner hook on the six or leave it well, deep in the pocket? Probably not. Okay, well. Some of these tables it's, uh, have a real subtle roll to them. Uh huh. Nick didn't take a chance on banking that 13 over there to make. Well, David's got two balls in the cast four. I guess uh, David would like them all down here and Nick would like them all up table at this point. Yes, I think so. Well, now Nick's got to play. He doesn't want to knock something up the table. He may just shoot that, that one up there and follow it up there. And one goes in, put it on the spot. If he does, David may well get a, a shot on the 13. Well, and I can't feature Nick giving away a shot like that. I don't think he's going to do that, Howard. Yeah, I can't feature that. He may leave him the 3 13 combination, but I don't know if he can predict what's going to happen with the two ball. He's just going to take the six ball out of there and yeah. come back down here. Yeah, just knock him on up the table. Set him all upstairs and see if see if uh, David could outbank him four times in a row or six times in a row. All right. You got to get six shots. Yeah, David's having a real problem. Yeah, he's uh, he's a little bit out of off gate right now. Feeling a little frustrated. He can't get any shots. Well, all he needs is one one good uh. Real good inning, and uh, he'll be right back in it. Mm -hmm. The quality player. Well, he's got something close he can uh, draw back on here. He's shooting a 13. Well, Nick uh, made a good safety. Uh, by Mr. Grossman. Nick is, uh, I don't think he's trying to pick out a shot, although he may bank that 11. I think he's just looking to play safe. Except 14, just down toward his pocket. He wasn't trying to make the ball. Just get it down here. Keep Mr. Grossman busy knocking something out. If you're knocking the balls away from your opponent's pocket, you can't shoot at your own. How's that 11 uh, look? Does it look as if it might fit by the one on a bank? Uh, I don't think it'll fit by the one. Something like this here? Uh, it might, it's going to shoot, but I think it just gets it over. Well, I guess the one was in the way. Uh-huh. Yeah, now Nick's got a bank on that 11. And I'm not sure David considered that very much. I mean, he, he acts a little frustrated, and, and I understand that. I often feel this way playing Nick myself. 
Then he's got a chance to put another ball by his pocket, perhaps make that 11. Well, he's ran it into the 14. Well, David's got a couple. Well, I don't know if he can double rail that 14 and, and keep control of the cue ball, keep from getting the uh, the 11. Uh, that looks like a blunder there, Howard. Yeah. Nick is just uh, stifling his opponent, you know? Yeah, he's choking him. Not give him any air, no shots. Mm-hmm. Almost errorless pool. Finally, finally, when David does get up and have some kind of a shot, it's, 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 he hasn't made one in so long. It's uh, difficult to execute. It's difficult to execute, and anything he gets that will go in his pocket, it just looks uh, like he's got to shoot it right now. You know, he just. Oh, he's going to bank this 11 down here. Oh, no, he's moving it up there, keeping the, keeping the uh, uh, hold on David. Well, Nick has six, and David has two. What's the importance of this match, uh, Howard? Um, how far along are they in the tournament? Mm, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, they are now, they're, they're both now guaranteed fifth, six, and uh, the winner of this match will advance to uh, no worse than third. So big it's a match. big match. Big match. Well, that might account for some of the nerves I'm seeing. Yes, it could. Well, David's just looking for something and he can't see anything. And that's because he doesn't have anything. He's forced to play safe. He doesn't want to. He's trying to execute some really trick shots now. Right, and uh, it just gives it, it gives your opponent a better shot than you had. And that's just tough to win when you're doing that. But it's just all he's getting to shoot at. Nick nails Beautiful that bank. bank. Beautiful bank. Nick nails that bank. Well, Nick's playing for one. I think David's about giving up. Uh, He's really totally frustrated to give him that shot. No kidding. Oh, Nick had it hit. Well, I think Vinny, well, can't really do that. He's going to try to knock some in and hopefully not give Nick a shot. He's made a good shot at that. Yeah, try to get a few more balls down there and maybe take a, a swing at something and uh, if he gets lucky, maybe run out. Well, or at least get get some balls and get a little closer back in the game. And Nick has uh, banked this ball over there. Got he's going to pocket play. the three ball, uh, pocket the three ball and get that one down there. Now he's going to end up with a whole bunch of balls down there. Uh-oh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Now he has that might though. be a big lucky break here. Yes, he may. Well, he still hit that 15. I mean, it's not devastating, but it's it cuts down Nick's options. He's got to move those balls instead of knocking all these back up the table. Well, David would like to get the 15 and the other ball, uh, you know, in play. You know, if that 6 and 15 is dead, if he looks at it, he might go ahead and kick at it at this point in the game. I, I wouldn't blame him. Not one bit. Uh, I don't know if he's looking at it, and I don't know if it's dead either. Can't tell. Well, he got another ball in. If he gets him on that seven ball, it'd be a pretty shot, wouldn't it? It would be. Uh, uh, I think he'd let him see the 13. Yeah, just, just everything's just a hair. Nick just, hey. Nick just uh, 
Made a nice bank, but the cue ball went in, in the corner pocket. And uh, David has no shot. Absolutely. Well, he's got four balls on the spot. He can't shoot that last ball, but that's that's pretty desperate from here. And uh, yeah. it looks like he has to shoot the 13 in and put Nick back on the hill. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot the 13 in real soft and just hide him behind the seven. Try and leave those balls on the spot as long as he could. Well, now, he, he may be looking at hitting the uh, 13 on the side, spinning the ball over there and knocking the seven over his way and sending the cue ball up the table. But uh, you're correct. He's hitting it easy. But he has hit him behind the seven where Nick has to shoot that seven away from his pocket. But Nick's not happy to do that right now. Well, I believe he's going to bank that 15 this yeah. time. Yeah, he's going to take a crack. He's going to have to take a crack at something right away. Well, these balls are down. Even if he doesn't make it in the hole, Howard, he could even back it, bank it into the stack, right. into the row of balls. Uh, he didn't choose to do that. He, he chose to shoot that seven. It's a very nice execution. It was. It looked like he could maybe make that 15 and get where you'd have a shot on the seven in case he made it. Is Nick? Yeah, Nick's knocking the seven. I don't think he's coming off the stack. Puts it over there. Now, yeah, that same shot, maybe, if you can see the 15. He's got a little better angle on that 15 now. Now he's going to shoot it. Nice hit. Not quite good enough, is it? No. Well, Nick's got a shot at seven to win the game if he wants to take it. Things just shoot this ball, Howard. When uh, all the balls are down here in play, or uh, any error here. Uh, well, it, it looks like if we don't leave my bank, that uh, that the cue ball comes down in or else, like kind of like a free shot. And you only need one. But if he, if the seven ball gets up the table and he, he's got a bank, uh, you could be getting yourself in trouble. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to shoot shoot at my hole on, like on this. Yeah, he, he appears to be. No, he shot that seven. I thought he was going by it, but. Uh, Shot seven in to win the game. Well, that's an excellent shot. Well, that's an excellent shot. Well, Nick's won the uh, third game, and now. He was a little more aggressive on that shot than I expected uh, out of him. For most most part, he's been very defensive. Absolutely. He's won the third game and now leads three games to zero. Okay, we're going to look at uh, David, how David Grossman arrived at this match, and uh, he has defeated Cliff Joyner, an excellent player, 4-2. Tom Worth, another excellent player, 4-2. Uh, Mr. Harriman, and I don't know him, but he beat him 4-0. And he beat our own illustrious Grady Matthews, 4-1. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, both, Those are all uh, top quality players. Right. Absolutely. So he's, in effect, done what Nick's done to his opponents. Yes, Dad. They both got here. I sense that David's a little, little frustrated. Just Nick's kept the heat on him real hard. Well, I think uh, David, being from a, a younger generation, may be in awe of Nick. Yes, that, that's certainly easy to do. You know, he's well, come up, uh, you know, probably watching Nick when he was just a, a kid. Probably watching Nick, and uh, he was probably one of his heroes. You know. No doubt about that. I believe that's probably true now. Now he can come off that five if he doesn't have it, or off that one if he doesn't have another shot and draw the ball down behind the five, 15 because he's got a little room to work. But he may have a shot on that four ball or one of those other balls. He can uh, crash into that rail, come off, hit nine, and knock something over his way. But still has to take care of the cue ball. Yeah. So Nick can't get on the 15. And he's got that uh, 12 I mean, he could there. go off the eight ball and maybe miss the 15 ball. Mm -hmm. Get him on the other side of 15 off the 8. But uh, it depends on exactly where the 8 goes, whether he'll have the shot to 10 or not. I think he's going for that 4 ball somewhere. I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's being very careful. Boy, that's a touchy shot right there. Woo. Uh, he didn't uh, hurt himself too badly. No. No, he didn't. Now, what can Nick do? Well, I'll say one thing he can do. Come off that 7, put him behind that 10. That'd be a nice shot. Yes, it would be, and uh, I think that's why he's looking at. It. He may be looking at something else, but no, he is looking at something else. He's looking at that eight. He might kick the ten. Right. 
Oh. Ooh. You try to get aggressive. I guess he's taking advantage of the three to nothing score on the games. Well, that's the first and, shot he's taking. And trying like to that. get a you know a lucky break in early in the match and maybe put mm -hmm. him away quick. That's the first time he's taken a shot like that and not executed perfectly. Well, and, and but again, David does have an outside. Looks like he's got to shoot easy. No, he's going up for the eight. Nice shot. That seven may be close to dead in his pocket, too. 14-7. That'll probably be affected right now. Uh -huh. Well, the eight ball goes in. He breaks. He goes up the table. And Did he got, get a bad roll here? Uh, he got a bad roll. He may be able to shoot the three, but... How about the nine? The nine ball is a little risky. He may well have to play safe from here. But you know he can shoot that five into the four and, and knocks balls over his way and draw the cue ball back to real and slide if he can slide down behind that thirteen without scratching. Uh he could have Nick and do a little bit of Yeah, I like there. that shot. That's a pretty shot. I like that shot. He might be able to put a cue ball right behind the thirteen from the five. He's gotta hit this ball good. I like that shot. That's a an excellent shot. Oh, he he had to come on the seven. And he hit it like the champion. He hit it like the champion that he is. Yes, he did. Well, I don't know what I can do up the table, but I like going into the side rail there, real short, and coming off hitting the 13 and going down behind that 15. He may just elect to push these balls a little bit and protect oh, his okay. five. He's, he's going directly to the rail. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he protected the five ball pretty much. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he, uh, it was a short kick. No doubt about it. Sometimes the little do nothing shot's the most effective for Howard. Absolutely. Well, Nick uh, has got his work cut out for him here. Yes, he does. He might uh, go off the one ball and leave him long on the five, or he might like to take a scratch and go all the way up and down, hide behind the five with the cue ball. He might do. Okay, fans, stand by to this uh, shot. We're going to change the tape. What do you think he's got in mind here, Howard? He's going to go off the one ball, leave him long. That's what he's thinking about. Or trying here. to come all the way back down and behind the five. I think what he's thinking about doing is taking a scratch. I don't think he's going to come off anything. I think if he goes down toward the five, he's just going to go ahead and take a scratch. I think you're right. It looks like it's the angle he's going for the scratch. Mm -hmm. Well, the shot's away, and it don't look like he's going to scratch. Uh, okay, fans, we're changing the tape right now. Okay, fans, we're back. Uh, Nick completed that safety in... Uh, David Grossman attempted a safety and scratched. Nick has ball in hand, leading the match three games to zero and has two balls in this game. Mr. Grossman has zero. <coughs> well, Nick's made the one. Got position on that nine. Uh, looks like Nick has a chance to win the game from here. Hmm, excellent shot. Back on the 14. That 12 and 15 is kind of tied up, but if he gets the right angle on that 13, he can make that ball and, and uh, move those two balls, move that 12 a little bit. I don't think that combination can be made, huh, Howard? No, nah, it's a little tough to shoot at. Nick is uh, moving those balls and broke them out. He doesn't have to, to uh, break out the 12 and 15. Now I can go up, make the 13 and. Uh, Maybe go up the table. It's a little thin, but I think he can go up the table for the six, or if he gets over a little bit, one of those other balls, uh, the seven, or even the three, four combination. And it looks like the 11 goes too. He's going around the table. 
Oh, Nick's in good, good position here. Did the 11 and the 4 goes? I think the 11 or the 6 or the 4 goes, but I think uh, the 11 will be going from here. Let's see. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nick needs two to win this match. I don't think uh, David's going to have another opportunity to get to the table. No, I think he, Well, Nick shot to six. Taking a chance. Well, um, I guess it made me a liar. It looks like he's going to get another chance to get to the table. Well, he, David uh, might get new life. You never know. You know, it's never over till it's over, so. He's kicking, kicking this five ball. Oh, 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 oh. David almost got a shot, and he may have a shot on the five. Well, he's got a nice kick shot here. I mean, he could get him some deep trouble. He just has to come over here with the uh, cue ball, spin it back, uh, hide behind here. And uh, I don't know what uh, Nick's going to be able to do from there. Well, they've, they've changed the uh, trays around. I was looking at the ball, and I thought Nick had, uh, Grossman had two. I thought, I thought Nick... Uh, was running out there. I'm staying corrected on that. Varner has four and Grossman has two. And he made that. Pretty shot. It pretty was shot. a pretty shot. Yes, it I think he finally got a good roll. I think he can make this two. Yes, I think he can. That ball like to uh, came out of the pocket. Might be able to play the seven and the six after that. It is now four to four. Well, Mr. Grossman does have a chance to win a game here. Sure does. Come down for the 11 ball here, or maybe even the uh, that strike ball. Oh, played too close to position. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not liking what happened here. No, well, now he's got a couple choices here. Can he get behind those three balls? He can do that, or it, 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 he may bank that uh, that three ball, three rails, just to be shooting in his pocket since Nick doesn't have anything to go. But I really like your shot of kicking at that 15, get behind those three balls better. Uh, he still has a ball on his side, and uh, Nick, and in case that six ball, that three ball gets uh, somewhere tough, Nick doesn't get the break up those balls, put something near his pocket. What a nice hit this was. Oh, he hit. The, he did go for it. He hit that nice ball hit like that he meant business with it. Well, David needs one ball, it looks like to me. Uh, although they're all down in play, any little mistake could cost them the game. That's right. And, uh, well, he made a nice kick. Ooh, made a, made nice, a nice kick. Nice kick. But did he make the 15 dead? It's close. It may, and it may go. But, uh, uh, I don't know if Nick's going to take a, a I kick guarantee you ball. Nick doesn't want to kick at it. <laughs> we'd, we'd rather not be in this position. Oh, yeah. But when Nick decides to, he kicks very well. He may feel like he can hit that 11 well enough not to sell out. I think we'll find him just, uh, you know, grazing the 12 ball and leaving him up near the side pocket somewhere. and. Probably can uh, David will probably come back and do that safety. Oh, he's going to kick like I think said. he's going to kick these balls. That's what I think. He's going to kick that 11. I don't know if that 11 froze. Depends on the speed. We can tell from the speed. Well, he kicked at it, but he didn't sell out completely. He left David a little bank. Uh, uh, I think this puts them puts the game away right here, uh, Howard. He should be able to get the 11 out of his side and hide behind those three balls. Uh, yeah, he's got a oh, Well, I think he's going to shoot 100% for the ball. Take the safety if he can get it. And it's away, and it's close. But uh, hmm. no shot now. Now, uh, does Nick still have a kick on that ball? No. He's going after that 11. He's going to make it or knock it out. He might be able to bank it over to his pocket. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. Yes, he did. This might have just changed the whole complexion of the game. It sure did. It sure did. I thought that ball was a little close to be shooting that shot, but uh, Nick saw it very clearly. That's why I like that shot before he would have hit him behind them three balls. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. See, now uh, all the balls are in play. A man like Nick, boy, anything goes here. And Nick, Nick uh, very well might get all three of them. He might. Well, oh, I think he's going to shoot this 11. 11 or the combination. He can uh, maybe uh, play the 11 clean. Well, he's thinking if he... Uh, if he shoots 11, there's no way he's going to leave any kind of shot. I think that's what he's thinking. And if he makes it, then he can make the combo. If he hangs it, he's got it protected. Oh, he missed it too far to protect. Well, David got a little new life right there. Still sure got a chance to win again. Sure does. I don't know if that 11 goes across the corner, but if it don't, uh, I think that David can put him right in behind that 12. Of course, that 11 won't be all that close to his pocket when he gets done. But right. Well, I, I, think, I think he could just stop the cue ball on that 12 and hide him behind the yeah, four. Yeah, he's shooting the 12, I can see. No, he shot the four. Look at oh, that I shot. Oh, made it. Man, he came with... <laughs> it was an exceptional <laughs> shot. He did. I, I didn't expect to see him shoot that ball. What an exceptional shot. Well, David Grossman has new life. He does. He has new life. Scores three to one. And a race to four. Well, I believe David made, gets the break now, doesn't he? He made an exciting shot there, too. Sure and, does. And a chancy shot. If that ball didn't go, uh, Nick could get a bank and uh, get right back in it. But uh, David well, That played. might have given him a little more uh, confidence. Now, if he starts firing at Nick, uh, it, he can get right back in the set. Uh, break's a big advantage here. He, he might win this. Uh, if he wins his own break right here, it's uh, score to be three to two, and anybody can win it from there. Absolutely. Yeah, Except the Mets. <laughs> Except the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very That's nice. Very they didn't nice. spread open as well as you would have liked to, but this, uh, this certainly is going to hurt him. Well, one thing about this break, he didn't leave Nick a dead ball. He did not leave Nick a dead ball. Nick going to try to knock that six out, you think? No, he's probably no, just going to go just under going the balls. Down the table. Go back to the uh, <laughs> back to routine, yeah, <laughs> the routine of uh, playing defense and you know, but, dance with the one that brung you. You ever hear that expression, mm -hmm. Howard? But David's got a shot on this one now. He can bank it down there and stick Nick over behind the rack. But he's looking at the six. Now, if you're going to shoot a ball here, Mr. He's going to play the 15 ball. Oh. Well, I don't see the advantage of that. Well, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I thought he was going to try a three-reel the six ball back to his pocket, kick the 15 in with the mm -hmm. cue ball. Well, he shot it correctly. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why he did that. David has his own ideas about this one pocket. And yeah, he sure uh, does. I think he just hit the ball real bad. We'll never know what he was trying. No, I, I like banking that one and, and scooting that cue ball across the corner. Yeah, it was a nice shot. And I think that'd been a good shot. A lot of opinions in one pocket, Howard. Yes, there <laughs> is. Yes, there is. I would is. say uh, any three top players, they don't always have to agree. That's right. Many different styles. You know, uh, I once heard a good pool player, excellent pool player, top player, had played chess, compare one pocket with chess. And in his opinion, one pocket was a better game. And I might be inclined to agree with him for one reason, especially. In chess, you pick those pieces up and put them where you want them. But in uh, one pocket, you got to shoot those balls around, put them where you want them. Absolutely. Well, it's starting to look like Nick broke the balls, unfortunately. Well, that's a nice little shot. Yes, it was. He's uh, David's got an aggressive style that is uh, almost careless, but uh, still, it's got some very positive things about it. Nick just shot that kick shot. That's the way I like to play it. That's the way I like to play it. I like to come safe. up on it and 
nudge it up an inch at a time and don't give your opponent much to do. You know, sometimes you end up having to uh, either take a scratch or knocking the ball away from your own pocket against mm -hmm. that style. Well, I think it's a little chance of shooting that two off of that 12 over towards your pocket. Yeah, I doubt if we'll see him do that. And then again. <laughs> well, he went dead for that ball, I guess. I haven't seen many more aggressive players than uh, David Grossman uh, at this level of play, have you? No, I have not. I think he, he got a shot early and he decided I'm going to go for this ball and uh, perhaps I can win the game with it and then get back in the set. If not, well, the set, it looks like it was lost anyway. I think maybe the only more aggressive player I've seen is Corey Duell's uh, opening break. Yeah, that uh, now that just about takes the cake. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody who's not familiar with Corey's opening break at this tournament, Corey's been, uh, uh, I guess you want to break them like eight ball, you know, hitting them hard. Well, it's, it's, it's bad enough that uh, a young man would be arrogant enough to play one pocket that way and then beat you at it, too. That, that <laughs> takes the cake. <laughs> yeah, he has been beating people. <laughs> Absolutely. I, he, he, he beat at Vickery? Yes, I oh had, my had God. A, With that a, break, huh? Had a good dose of that last, last oh set. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. I wouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, that's unusual. And uh, Corey's a fine young player. He sure is. But that break is uh, something of his own. I have not seen that before. Well, I have a funny feeling that, uh, you know, when the uh, tides flow with you on that break, they flow heavy, and when they flow against you, they flow just as heavy. It could be, but he used it, uh, he used it uh, twice. And uh, I don't know uh, who beat him or how they beat him, if he used it when he got beat or not. Uh, I. I don't know. There might be a new rule where if you use that break, you got to start out on the loser's side. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that was a nice shot by David. I mean, uh, yes, he it protected was. the 13 and the 15. Well, uh, I think Nixon be forced to go under the balls again. Yeah. Uh, he's going. Yeah, just safety. Uh, David's got gotten balls angled with, at his pocket. If Nick makes a mistake, he got a shot. But Nick never makes a mistake like that. What's that 11-14? Does it look like it's heading for uh, Nick's pocket, maybe? Uh, yeah. I would like to yeah. give that a little nudge if I was David. Yeah, well, he's uh, he's got the cue ball up here pretty good. But again, uh, Nick can get out of this he's very easily. He's got a 13 easily. bank here, doesn't he? It might go. With position? I mean, he might be able to just stop that cue ball right there. And well, he might. But he could shape on a 4, four or 9, but, uh, the 14 goes. He yeah, might have but, a whole bunch of them. Uh, now he might bank the 15 if he can't. Uh, I can't. I can't feature him banking that eight at uh, that 13 because 15 yeah. is right there, and he's not going to take a chance like that. Well, there's three, four, five balls there. He has three already. If he makes that 13, he wins the game, doesn't he? Or yeah, looks like but he will. Uh, if he misses, David gets a chance to win another game, and he don't want to give that up. I don't think. But he may well uh, be thinking exactly the way you're thinking. He's looking at something. Uh, I think way. I'd take a chance if I was Nick. I think he he's just bring the cue ball down the end rail. That's the Nick I know, right there. <laughs> <laughs> but by putting that 13 up here now, David is a little closer. He has a better chance to put the cue ball between that uh, well, eight and 14. he's gonna watch out for the 14, the, the 14, 11 dead combination. If it, if it, in fact it is dead. Yeah, I think Nick can shoot that. I think he can get to it, and he can, uh, I don't know if he can shoot it from there. Nick's ahead in this game, three balls to one. If he can get that 11, can make it. Uh, there's some separation there, though. Oh, yeah. He may just graze the eight ball or the 14 ball here, whatever he can hit. Mm -hmm. Go down to the bottom again. Or has he got a cross bank on the nine? Yeah, just, just that keep... slow defensive uh, 
posture. Oh, absolutely. Well, David's got that three up there. He may take a flyer at that, but that's a flyer. He may have just seen that 14. Is he shooting at two rails? Beautiful hit, but I just didn't go. Oh, uh, he's got him behind those balls, but Nick may have the combination on the 14, but the 14, it may be off just a little, slight little bit. Kind of hard from, from this angle, uh, this viewpoint, to see exactly what his options are. Right, but... Uh, Looks like he can see that nine. He can just thin it a little bit and leave him down behind that 50. No, he's going off. That's off a nice the shot. Very nice shot. Very nice shot. David's in a bad position. Looks like one way or another that 15's. Well, he may be able to put him back up behind that by that eight and whatever, but he's going to have a shot on the nine, perhaps. That's a little too yeah, easy. Yeah, I didn't care for that, that choice. Now, uh, well, that angle on that nine is pretty severe to control the ball. Cubo might get away from him, leaving up behind the 13 to 10. I'm wondering if he could bank the uh, four. Yeah. He's going for the nine. I bet he just puts him back down there again. Nick, uh, I mean, this is the he's most frustrating. He's not taking any there. chances. What a frustrating maneuver, huh? And he, he, he's not even considering taking a chance on giving him a shot. Well, it's like David may go off the uh, eight or the fourteen ball here and mm. try and protect that uh, four. Off the four. Well, I believe he has given Nick his bank on the nine now. I think he's going to have to uh, maybe even bank the uh, striped ball. Mm -hmm. Down there, uh, I think he might even be able to see that ball. Mm -hmm. How about the 11 or the 9? Looks like he got an angle on that 9. He just followed over there if he makes it. Well, what's the one that's near uh, David's pocket? I think he might, be able to see the, he might be able to see the 15 ball. 15. He may be able to, but... Uh, if he can bank this nine, leave move on the rail, he gets by his pocket or in the pocket. He can shoot that uh, combo perhaps, or the 15. But I, I think maybe the combo does is doesn't go. Uh, well, you're right. He's shooting the 15. Send the cue ball up, maybe into the four ball up there. Oh, into the three, even better yet. Yeah. Well. David's going to look at that 11 and see if it go. That's a very pocket. nice shot. You got him in trouble. That was a very nice shot. Yeah, David's going to try and shoot his way out of it. Uh, he may only get this ball if he makes it. Oh, nice shot. Nice Pretty shot. shot. Ooh. Well. I don't know what the discussion Yeah, was David about. was uh, explaining to Nick that uh, he hit the 14 ball with a stick and uh, would he like to re replace it? And Nick said uh, you hardly moved it, so uh, oh, okay. thank you for informing me, but uh, go, go ahead and proceed. Uh, he's got a chance to get some balls here. Uh, so that's why he was letting him know he knew he was going to go into the 14. Uh-huh. Well... Uh, an extra ball went in another pocket. He's going to have to spot that. Yeah, Keep that's that in mind. 14 went in the side. Uh, well, uh, I like shooting one ball here uh, yeah. half heartedly and just go up and, uh, you know, line the eight and then the 13 ball up. Or is that the nine ball? 
Yeah, well, this ball comes on the spot. Uh, Nick's going to just knock that back up the table. We, I believe. Well, this game is now tied up. Yeah, it's 3-3. Three to three, uh, But for some reason, it feels like Nick is, again, way ahead in this match, doesn't it? Yeah, it because has that you, feel, you have that feeling because he's in control. He's more in control. The, the game's being played according to his idea of how it should be played more than uh, David's. That could be. That could be. He seems to be controlling the tempo. And deliberately so. He probably knows that David likes to play a fast and loose style, and mm -hmm. um, a lot of players will you know, play that slow play well, Nick. and use it against you. This is about this is next, just about next normal speed. Is it really? Yeah, and slower. Not uh, faster than this, but slower than this. Well, he's got a couple opportunities here. Well, he he might go ahead and stop on the 14 ball over there. Is it the 14? Yeah, he might do that. He might shoot the 10 and knock 13 out. It looks like the 14. Just keep moving those balls over on his side. Sure. David got a shot on the 10? No, he's just going to go down to the ball. Oh, did he? He hit it. He didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah, Nick's got him shortening up yeah. on the ball if you, by now. If he would have had two balls, at least maybe three there. Oh, yeah, he, he that nine, he sub to get some more. Yeah, Nick, when he stopped on that ball, he meant to let it go up a little higher and hide behind those balls, and he didn't mm -hmm. quite do it. Well, Nick's got a shot here to knock these, this one, this uh, ten out. I don't believe he's going to ever shoot that nine. Not today. No. He may give him the ball. He did give him the ball. Well. well Taking no well. chances. That is. Uh, well, it was difficult to predict. If you try to get it out, it was laying near the point. It was difficult mm -hmm. to predict where all the balls were going. Rather than take the chance, he's well, just going to keep him stifled. That might be the uh, best move on this table. That was a blunder. He was trying to hide it behind a four ball and protect mm -hmm. the nine, I guess. He got that double kiss. Yeah, he gave, yeah, he gave him a bank. Well, if Nick shoots, I don't think he's going to be playing position on anything straight in next time. Uh, unless our chance he get. How do you play this back? Do you cross it or do you hold it, Howard? It's kind of in between. That's why it looks like he's uh, going to cross, cross it. it. Yeah. You got to roll it. Whatever you do, it's not a, it's not a firing back. I would, I would cross it. Oh, he's holding it now. Yeah, he's trying to hold it. Yeah. Nick might have just blundered again. Yeah, that, I would have. Uh, if I held that, I would have held it at a softer speed. Mm-hmm. Well. At a softer speed, yeah, I think you probably get the double kiss. And maybe that's what he was thinking. Pretty, Ooh, pretty cut shot. Nice pretty, shot. pretty cut shot. He got a nice shot. He made his ball. David has five to three uh, lead five now in this game. Can be six. That we could be looking at a new six. game. Uh, yeah. Gonna make this six and draw it back. Uh, got a shot at the eight, maybe. I can bank that. He can bank the one, but he's not looking up there at that one. He's looking at uh, cutting his eight. I mean, he's not even looking up the table. Did he get it? No, he's a little short. Uh, this ball, this is a bank for Nick here. If he'd have looked up the table, he'd have banked the one, put him behind those balls, because uh, he wouldn't have uh, had any, any any kind of shot. Well, David got the six. Uh, Nick looks like he's got to get this eight ball at least close to the pocket. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, and it goes. Bank on the 13, I believe. I believe he shoot the 13. I don't think he shoot the one. He might. Yeah, he'll play the 13. If he happens to get lucky and drop that bank, uh, he'll have a shot at the cut at the four. Mm-hmm. 
Looks like it's going to make it, too. He's splitting the wicket. Nice shot. What do you think about the four ball draw behind the 14 ball now? That's a good shot. If you feel a little unsure of that draw, you cut the 14 down the road and come back and forth. It makes this is going to be at least a tie game. Absolutely. David uh, nonchalanted that, uh, that shot before and left uh, a surprise uh, volley. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Seems like he varies between being uh, a little too relaxed and, and a little too intense. You know, he's had, it's like he doesn't, at least in this match, you know. Uh, Nick's cutting the 14 down, going back and forth. Wow, I would have shot the four ball. I never would have thought of that. Right, Nick didn't want to roll it. He didn't want to fire anything. Remember the last bank he fired and it jawed and went over? Right. There? Yeah, I think he's still thinking about that. Well, if Nick makes this forward and banks that one, uh, the, the set is David over. May not, may, David may not get to the table again, and he looked Absolutely. like he was going to win the game. That's right. He was in the driver's seat six to three. Well, Nick's gets to shoot the one for the game well, and the set. If I know Nick, this ball is going to hang at least. It's laying about as good as you could ask for. Just about. Uh, up a little short, I think. Uh, it's going to hang at least. Oh, he in wins the match. Nice shot. It's a wonderful bank. Oh, Nick wins the uh, David was totally game. surprised and stunned. The fifth game and uh, wins the set four games to one. And uh, that match was a little closer than the, than the score in, uh, dictated. Uh, it was. Indicated. It, 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 uh, that last game. Uh, that last game. He stole the victory from the feet. Yes, we could have still been playing. It looked like Nick was dead in control. David came back a little bit, but he never really got comfortable during the whole match, you know. He, he played better safe the first game, but he kind of lost it right at the end of that game, and he seemingly never recovered. Okay, viewers, we'll be right back. We're going to do an interview with Mr. Varner. Okay, Nick, well, congratulations on your win. Uh, it was hotly contested at the end. Uh, it looked like he was trying to make a little comeback after you had him uh, on the ropes. Yeah, I sure did. Uh, I got off to a good jump winning the first game. That was a real bonus there. I was so lucky to win that first game. That was a nice confident yeah. builder there. And, uh, winning, uh, winning the first game and breaking his serve uh, got the match off. In yeah. your direction. Well, it looked like I was going to lose the first game, and then somehow I ended up winning it. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, he went from, uh, he ended up with three balls on the table, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He scratched a couple times, and, and he had me way down. And uh, yeah, I mis-executed the first uh, rack a little bit on the speed. I lost my speed a couple times, and mm -hmm. it cost me dearly. And then, and then it was kind of clear sailing there for a while. In fact, I thought I was going to win four in a row, and then... Then I kind of messed up and stuff, and he was having a little trouble in the second and third game. He wasn't quite hitting the balls quite. He was mishitting his banks and stuff a little bit. He wasn't. It seemed like he just got a little bit uncomfortable. It was like he was in between playing too fast, and then sometimes uh, uh, he was, I think he got a little bit frustrated because yeah. he was hitting some balls, and he mis-executed, and he knew he could do better than that. And, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but then when in that last game shot, he all of a sudden he started hitting balls a lot better. He <laughs> sure did. did. He sure when did. When he won that first game, uh, he started hitting them pretty good, and uh, and uh, the balls start to get tough to come by that last game and stuff. And uh, yeah. I'm just lucky I ran uh, five and out there. Do you think your styles nice five uh, and out? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Nick, do you think your styles conflict with each other? I think he's a much more aggressive player maybe than you are. Uh. I don't know. He was talking. He played Cliff Joyner the match before, and he's talking about how aggressive Cliff played or something. Uh, really? I've never really played him one pocket before. I don't know really what his style is. He plays a little different. He plays a little more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, he does. I, I noticed you frustrated him a little bit uh, with your uh, uh, sequences of safeties, and uh, might have been a difference in the match from uh, as a, a viewer's uh, standpoint. 
Well, even that last game, uh, what did he get? He had six. Uh, yeah, I think it was last game, trouble. to tell you the truth. He thought, uh, you, you dropped a great bank, and, uh, and it was all and over then, from there. Yeah, bank three out of those five balls uh, made a good out. Uh, yeah, he was playing good. Yeah, I gambled a little bit, and he made the shot and uh, came down, fell perfect on that ball. Uh, uh, I thought I could bank that over close to my hoe, and he cut that ball in. He made a pretty nice shot there. Uh, uh, I was trying to get him over a couple more inches because the way he cut it in, he rode it down, bumped the ball, and got pretty good shape. I yeah. thought he could have kissed in the pocket or anything. Yeah, it fell on a bad angle, but he hit the shot real good. It was no uh, give me. I think it was the eight ball that he uh, he missed and left you for the bank, and he had a little bit of position. He got a little bit out of line on the eight, but I think it, uh, maybe you might have expected he was going to make it. Yeah, I thought he might make the uh, eight. In fact, I didn't dream that I was going to win it that game uh, let alone so fast because yeah. he it looked like I figured like the the bank I opened up with uh, to run those five balls I thought he would probably make that and then he probably wouldn't have a shot to shoot uh, for his out ball and stuff but man he'd never ball on the table that's kind of tough but well he left me that cross bank and uh, I had to cut that bank a little bit more and I wanted I yeah. wanted to get closer to the rail where I didn't have to cut it so much but I had to load it up with outside to try to get it to to go wide enough, you know, right. and keep the cue ball where he didn't have a shot on that one. That that was a winner's match uh, bracket, wasn't it? Winner's bracket. That was winner's bracket. Uh, are you looking forward to playing David again, or is that not possible? Oh, that's possible, because uh, uh, that's his first loss. Uh, 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 yeah, will be fine with me. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a couple of real good players coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, got Alex playing uh, Jose, so that should be one heck of a match there. And then uh, that's who I play on the winner's side to, for the winner's bracket. Well, so if I can keep well, running, uh, shooting like I executed those last five <laughs> shots, I'll be happy. You will. Well, good well, luck to you tonight. Yes, uh, thank you uh, for the interview. And uh, that's a fine match, and uh, fans, uh, we'll say good night, and um, we'll be back in about 20 minutes with another match for you. Thank you very much, Howard. Thanks, Bill. Hey, thank you. Bye, pleasure.